they're probably looking at these allegations and thinking, where are the videos? Where are these still shots that we're seeing in these complaints? And can we investigate it to see if there's more here, potentially criminal? Misa went into full mama bear mode and tore Diddy up on the internet, claiming that Diddy's act bad lifestyle is leading their son down the wrong path. Put on your reading glasses and proceed if you thought Diddy's legal issues could not possibly become much more delicious. Here's the most recent bombshell revelation. Diddy is baby mama. Misa Hilton are getting more tense than a summertime barbecue. Recall when Misa said Diddy was her child Justin's puppet master? So fasten your seatbelts, for she is not going back. Hollywood is in stitches over press stories detailing Misa's shocking realization that Diddy's purported master plan is a hoax. But there's more still. In addition to getting caught in the crossfire, Justin is being targeted. Producer Rodney Jones accuses Justin in his complaint of using dishonest business practices. And Misa, she'll do whatever it takes to protect her child even if it means bringing down a major hip-hop artist. You won't want to miss anything Misa has to say about Diddy, we can assure you of that. This is a Hollywood titanic struggle, not your typical family dispute. Let's now examine the startling claims made against Diddy and his son Justin in more detail. Producer Rodney Jones, who recently sparked outrage in Hollywood by accusing Diddy of sexual assault, did not back down when he filed his case. It was because to his cunning emails that Justin and Diddy were embroiled in the affair. Prepare yourself for even more amazing scenes, just in case you thought the last drama was dramatic enough. Jones claimed that Diddy's events were nothing less than ostentatious extravagance. Envision an elegant home brimming with women, including young ladies and sex workers. Who was this supposed to be the crazy person behind all of this? Diddy directly, with Justin supposedly in charge of finding the females and Stevie J, his dependable assistant, putting up the escorts. Talk about an occasion that exudes negative energy. But hold on, things get considerably messier. Jones brought up a fight involving a man going by the name G, Justin, and Diddy. It seems that tensions erupted during a heated dispute, which resulted in gunfire. You really did hear what was said. A Hollywood recording studio was shaken by gunfire, and unfortunate G was hit in the stomach by a bullet. According to Jones, Diddy gave him the order to conceal the incident and call the police to report it as a drive-by gunshot. The gripping story takes unexpected turns that leave us trembling in terror. It plays out like a big-budget movie. Let's now closely examine the accusations made against Diddy and Justin. When Jones said Diddy exposed him to a plethora of improper sexual activity, he didn't hold back. Jones revealed some unsettling details about living under Diddy's roof, including him being forced to watch pornographic films and being the target of unwanted touching. And as if that wasn't shocking enough, he disclosed further information. It has come to light that Diddy served drug-laced beverages to prostitutes and underage drinkers at his several residences around the United States. The shocking information reveals the dubious side of Diddy's opulent lifestyle, but the drama is far from over. In his case, Jones named Justin as a defendant as well, alleging that Diddy's child was not only there, but actively participated in the questionable behaviors because he employed sex workers and is suspected of taking part in the violent incident at the recording studio. Justin is at the center of a huge scandal. Justin's life is ready to collapse after years of hardship because he may face criminal charges. Guys, you better hang on to your hats because Justin Combs will not take these accusations lightly. His agents stormed out, denying all of the accusations leveled against them. Justin's attorney issued a vehement statement in which he declared Justin Combs unequivocally rejects these ludicrous charges. Every one of them is false. The person in this scenario is obviously acting hysterically in an effort to live. Any derogatory remarks made against Com's family might result in legal action. And the story doesn't stop there. Day's tenacious legal team entered the arena to stand up for their man and his kids. They did not lose time in painting the accuser, Lil Rod, as a simpleton seeking an unjust reward. With the force of a legal bulldozer, they said they had substantial, unquestionable evidence disproving Rod's accusations, dismissing them as pure fiction. The drama doesn't end with the denials, though, since even when the communications department issues a forceful statement, the question remains unanswered. Who is being truthful? Is this an instance of a producer trying to stir up controversy to get notoriety and money? Claims, or are more sinister truths concealed under the extravagance and splendor of Hollywood's upper class? All of this chaos, though, is centered around a formidable defender named Misa Hilton. During Diddy's prior court hearings, she remains silent, but now that the gloves are off, she is speaking up. Misa comes out like a lioness protecting her young in a fierce response to the charges made against her son. Misa is never one to back down from a battle, particularly when her family is involved. According to a reliable source, she's fed up with Diddy's unscrupulous business methods and won't allow him bring Justin down with him. Misa's backing of Justin is a full-fledged attack on Diddy's character rather than merely a means of repairing his reputation. 
Insiders claim that she is accusing Diddy of deliberately putting Justin in risk and including him in his issue. Someone with knowledge of the matter said that she is furious that Diddy would involve their son in his extramarital activities. She always thought he was dangerous, but this is another level. There's a lot of conjecture as to why Misa responded so strongly. There's a rumor that it stems from Diddy's long-standing animosity at Justin's dominance. Some suggest that beneath the surface, there may be even greater mysteries waiting to be solved. It's true that Misa Hilton and Diddy had a tumultuous past filled with upheaval in private and public altercations. They were formerly hip-hop industry colleagues and high school sweethearts, but their relationship quickly ended due to controversy and abuse allegations. The most well-known incident was in 2015, when Diddy was allegedly jailed for using a kettlebell weight to strike Justin's UCLA football coat. The episode shocked the public and revealed problems within the comms family, as well as raising concerns about Diddy's character and attitude. Later on, the cops found out that he was operating a vehicle while intoxicated. Mies may still be at odds with Diddy about Justin's arrest for Dewey, according on her most recent outburst. She wasn't shy in criticizing Diddy's parenting style, career choices, and legal troubles in a series of since-deleted Instagram posts. Her cutting comments not only conveyed her displeasure, but also highlighted a wider divide between the two. Misa Hilton launched into an enraged outburst, not holding back as she attacked Diddy and his new ventures. She expressed her disapproval of the alleged reality TV show featuring Diddy and his kids rather clearly when she said, I'm not with none of the reality TV stuff. When is enough enough? Yes, it makes sense. Misa's critique, nevertheless, didn't end there. She objected to Diddy's most recent musical endeavor, the song Act Bad, which features Young Miami and Fabulous. She questioned the song's message, which was to act horrible, act nasty, and act bad, with a stinging sarcasm and comedy. I used to want to be a mean girl. I decided to establish myself as a queen. Misa also attacked U Clay, the institution where Justin had played football on a full scholarship, in a move that left many confused. Misa reflected on previous events, such as Diddy's well-known fight with Justin's coach in 2015. She could hardly contain her contempt. Set aside U Clay too, she said. It makes sense to all of us. Misa's criticism of Diddy's business methods, especially his engagement in the beverage sector, was perhaps the hardest blow. She was confused by Diddy's career decision and felt both upset and unhappy at the same time. She bemoaned the possibility that the best in the world at anything may become wealthy from spirits and then take the dumb spirits firm to court. It was evident from Misa's social media that tension in her relationship with Diddy was at an all-time high after the storm path. With the lawsuit brought against Justin for his involvement in his father's latest crimes, this never-ending drama has only just started. But Diddy's former bodyguard Jean Deal, who has resurfaced and made some really damaging claims about Diddy's history, could have the most surprising revelation. Deal said in a recent video that Diddy has a track record of abusing women, including Misa Hilton. Deal makes the startling claim that Diddy physically assaulted Misa because he thought she was having an extramarital affair with AFEME member. Their interpersonal dynamics are clarified by this knowledge. Deal's claims provide a worrisome glimpse into Diddy's private life by implying a habit of abuse and dishonesty that goes beyond his public persona. If these claims turn out to be accurate, Diddy's standing in the courts and his image might be severely damaged, which would exacerbate their ongoing conflict with Misa. Misa's choice to speak out against Diddy becomes much more significant in light of these events. She speaks out against injustice because she is a mother attempting to shield her child from the dangers of fame and money. Not only do her comments openly target Diddy, but they also act as a call to action for responsibility and reform in the entertainment business, which makes them remarkable. It's your chance to comment on this shocking story now. What do you think about the accusations made against Justin Diddy and his father? Which side Misa or Diddy do you favor? Please share your opinions in the space provided for comments below, and let's start a vibrant dialogue. Do you think Jean Deal, Diddy's accusers, is a reliable source? What effect do you believe they will have on the ongoing dispute between Diddy and Misa? Your insights could shape the narrative of this Hollywood showdown. Thanks for tuning in to catch up on the latest celebrity drama. Until next time, stay tuned and stay curious.